हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल सुपर इंजीनियरिंग कमिटेड टू एक्सीलेंस आई होप यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक गियर पंप्स सो लेट स्टार्ट आवर वीडियो व्हाट इज गियर पंप ए गियर पंप इज ए टाइप ऑफ पंप दैट यूजेज ए सीरीज ऑफ रोटेटिंग गियर्स टू पम्प द फ्लूड द गियर पम्प यूजली हैज टू गियर्स वन गियर नोन एज द आइल्डर गियर और ड्राइवन गियर एंड द सेकेंड गियर इज नोन एज द पावर और द ड्राइवर गियर As we can see in this diagram, this is the gear number one, and this is the driver gear. This is also known as the master gear. Here, this is the gear number two, and this is the driven gear. These gear rotates in opposite direction and produces a suction force at the inlet side of the pump and a pressure force at the outlet side. Means, if the flow of the fluid is in this direction, then the gears will rotate in the opposite direction of this flow so a suction vacuum will generate between the gaps of the teeth of the gears and the fluid will take this path to the discharge or outlet port if the pressure at suction is p1 and the pressure at discharge is p2 then p2 is always greater than p1 the power gears is attached to the prime mover or mechanical power source or we can say that it is connected to a motor the hydraulic pump transfer a pulseless flow that is proportional to the gear speed means the flow of the pump is directly proportional to the speed of the pump if the speed of the gear increases then the flow of the pump also increases these pumps are mainly used to generate high pressure these pumps have simple efficient and the compact design the gear pumps are most commonly used for pumping high viscous liquids like adhesive liquid fuels motor oils hydrocarbons etc gear pumps have fixed displacement therefore these are known as positive displacement pumps then a question arises in your mind that what is positive displacement pump a positive displacement pump means that the pump delivers a uniform flow rate at uniform speed irrespective of pressure changes means the pressure remains constant a fixed displacement displacement represent that this pump delivers a constant amount of liquid with every soft revolution now discuss the components of the gear pumps the gear pumps has the following components number 1 drive shaft as shown in the diagram this is the drive shaft and it is connected to a prime mover or motor number second is seal as shown in this this is the seal and seal is used to avoid the leakages in the pump number 3 inlet and outlet ports this is the inlet port or we can say the suction port with pressure p1 and this is the outlet port also known as the pressure port with pressure p2 fourth is the driver gear this is the driver gear and it is connected to the drive shaft fifth is the driven gear this is the driven gear also known as the idler gear sixth one is the housing housing is also known as the casing of the pump casing is used to provide the path to the fluid number 7 prime mover and number 8 is pressure relief valve now discuss the types of the gear pump generally there are four types of the gear pump number 1 external gear pump number 2 internal gear pumps number 3 low pumps number 4 g rotor pumps we will discuss all these four types of the pump in our video so let's start number 1 external gear pumps an external gear pumps has two gears driven and the driver gears this pump produces the flow of the fluid due to fluid flow between these two gears this is the gear 1 and this is the gear number 2 these gears match with each other the one gear over the driver gear that is gear number 1 it drive by the driving shaft means this is the gear number 1 and it is drive by the driving shaft due to movement of this gear the idler or the driven gear also start rotating by driving shaft the gear g1 rotates and by rotating the gear g1 the g2 gear that is the driven gear also rotates the cavity formed between the teeth of these gears also closed by the pump casing and the side plates also known as the wear plate or pressure plates when the gear teeth are unmatched a 
लिमिटेड वैक्यूम जनरेटेड एट द इनलेट ऑफ द पम्प मीन्स वैन द टी आर अनमैट हेयर द सक्सन वैक्यूम विल बी जनरेटेड आफ्टर अनमैसिंग द फ्लूड स्टार्ट टू मूव टू फिल द जनरेटेड वैक्यूम एंड इट ट्रांसपोर्टेड आउट द पम्प वैन द गियर्स मैस अगेन द फ्लूड स्टार्ट टू एंटर अगेन इन साइड द पम्प एन एक्सटर्नल गेयर पम्प हैज हेरिन बोन गेयर्स हेलिकल गेयर्स और स्टेड स्पर गेयर्स स्पर्स गेयर्स आर वेरी कॉमन इन डिफरेंट एप्लीकेशन एज दे हैव वेरी ईजी कटिंग दिस गेयर और दिस गेयर इज यूज इन केन अनलोडर्स इन आवर शुगर फैक्ट्री दिस पम्प्स आर यूज इन ग्रैब टू ग्रैब द केन एंड अनलोड इन द केन कैरियर एडवांटेज ऑफ एक्सटर्नल गेयर पम्प्स इट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टाइप ऑफ द हाइड्रोलिक पम्प द गेयर पम्प हैज़ वेरी लो नंबर ऑफ मूविंग कंपोनेंट्स नंबर टू दिस पम्प्स आर इजी टू मेंटेन नंबर थ्री दीज आर रिलेटिवली लो कॉस्ट नंबर फोर दे कैन पम्प कंटामिनेटेड फ्लूड्स नंबर फाइव दे आर वेरी एफिशियंट नंबर टू इंटरनल गेयर पम्प्स दिस हाइड्रोलिक पम्प्स हैव इंटरनल गेयर्स दिस पम्प्स हैज कॉम्पैक्ट एंड स्मॉल पार्ट्स द इंटरनल गेयर पम्प्स हैज वन और टू मोर एक्सटर्नल तीट दैन द इंटरनल गेयर्स सो दी डिज़ाइन हैव लो रिलेटिव स्पीड बिटवीन द इंटरनल एंड द एक्सटर्नल गेयर्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल if the inner and the outer gear have 8 and 9 teeth respectively means this is the internal gear and it is having number of teeth 8 and this is the external gear and it is having number of teeth 9 then what will happen the inner gear will rotate 9 times and the outer gear will rotate 8 times this low relative speed means a low rate of the wear now discuss the advantage of the internal gear pumps it has one stepping box the internal gear pumps has only two moving components it is perfect for highly viscous fluids and it is flexible in design number 3 low pumps it is one of the most famous types of hydraulic pumps it uses more than one lobe this is the lobe l1 and this is the lobe l2 these lobe rotate around the parallel shaft inside the housing of the pump to fluid flow in a gear pump one gear drives to the another one while in the case of the lobe pump both the lobes are driven by corresponding drive gears outside the pump housing chamber means these are not like the gear pump in lobe pumps both lobes are driven differently by using of the gears these pump used for applications such as biopharmaceutical manufacturing beverages food processing and hygienic process industries etc now discuss the advantage of the lobe pumps a lobe pump can handle paste slurries solids etc it provide a non pulsating flow it can operate in dry conditions for a long time number 4 g rotor pumps it is a positive displacement pumping unit the name g rotor is derived from generated rotor a g rotor unit consists of a inner and outer rotor the inner rotor has n teeth means if the inner rotor this is the inner rotor it is having number of teeth n then the outer rotor has n plus 1 teeth then the outer rotor means this has n plus 1 teeth the inner rotor is located off center and the both rotates during part assembly or rotation cycle the area between the inner and the outer rotor increases and creating a vacuum means at the suction here the area between the internal and the external gear increases so a vacuum will create in this area and it transfer the fluid into this direction at a very high pressure this vacuum creates suction and hence this part of cycle is where intake is located then the area between the rotor decreases causing compression during the compression period the fluid can be pumped or compressed if they are gaseous fluid high pressure gas enters the intake area and pushes against the inner and the outer rotors causing both to rotate as the area between the inner and the outer rotor increases during the compression period the exhaust is pumped out so this is the working of the g rotor pumps now discuss the advantage of g rotor pumps these are of high speed it is ha- also having the only two moving parts constant and even discharge regardless of pressure conditions operate well in either condition means it can work in the both direction means it, we can roll with clockwise and anti clockwise as per our requirement means we can change inlet and the outlet ports it is having quite operation now working of the gear pumps so we will discuss working of the gear pump briefly in our next video because this video is ge- getting very long so please like and subscribe our channel for more videos
थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग आवर वीडियो